everyone, I hope you are well. We are just going to start our new math unit and we're going to be learning all about geometry. Can you say geometry? Geometry is when we study shapes and all the different kinds of shapes. So if you look all around the world, inside or outside, you will see many different shapes. And all these shapes make up different objects. So to begin learning about geometry, I always like starting off math with a fun story. This is called the shape of things. So can you try to use what you already know and pick out different kinds of shapes in the picture? I'll give you a minute. Right now, I can already see a ton. For example, I see a rectangle acting as a roof. I see an orange square that's making the base of the house. I see two squares as windows. And I see another shape right down here. Do you know what this one's called? That shape is called a trapezoid. So we will be learning many different shapes throughout this story. The shape of things. A square is just a square until you add a roof, two windows, and a door. Then it becomes much, much more. So here's the square. A square has four sides and four points. One, two, three, four. This square can become so much more. Let's look at what it becomes. So they use their imagination to make a house out of a square. A circle's just a circle until you add some lights. Chairs high and low, round and round they go. So here's a circle. A circle has no edges and no lines or no points. It's just round and around. So this person made a circle into a Ferris wheel. I like to ride Ferris wheels at the beach or when the fair comes to town. It's really fun going up high. A triangle is just a triangle until you add another. An ocean and a sky, a seagull passing by. How many sides does a triangle have? Can you count with me? One, two, three. It has three sides. How about let's count the vertices or the points? One, two, three. So a triangle has three sides and three points. Let's see what they turn this triangle into. Very cool. I wish I was at the beach right now. That was very creative. A rectangle is just a rectangle until you add some more. An engine and a track, a red caboose in the back. Let's look at this rectangle. Let's count how many sides it has. One, two, three, four. A rectangle has four sides. Now let's count the points. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Do we see something in common with the sides and the points? What do you think? They're the same, that's right. So when we see 2D shapes, most of the time, the amount of points or vertices will match the amount of sides. Let's see what they turn this rectangle into. It's pretty long, are you ready? Very big train. An oval's just an oval until you add a nest, a wooden house, and then a patient mother hen. This is an oval. Do you see any sides? No. Do you see any vertices or points? Now, much like a circle, it goes around and around, but it's much longer, like it's a stretched out circle. Let's see what they turn it into. A diamond's just a diamond until you add some string. Wind and a tail, some friends to help it sail. A diamond has four lines and four vertices, or four edges to be exact. And again, they match. The amount of sides and vertices are the same. So with a little wind and some friends, they made this diamond into a kite. 
Playing with shapes can be tons of fun. A shape is just a shape, but look again and see. There are shapes of every kind. How many can you find? Why don't you take a couple seconds to try and find all the shapes you can? I really like this story because it allows you to use your imagination to try and find shapes all around the world or even in just your backyard. So what we are going to do now is really quite fun you are going to be given an activity. So what I like to do is I like to take a single sheet of paper. I chose purple because purple's my favorite color. <laughs> and I want us to make shapes and to make an awesome picture. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this paper and some scissors and I'm gonna cut different shapes out. I'm gonna use my imagination and make these shapes into some kind of picture. So I just cut two shapes out now. Can you guess what this one is? A triangle. Can you guess what this one is? A rectangle. Let's cut out another and see what else I can make. This one's kind of hard. You have to really take your time when you're cutting out your shapes. All right, are you ready? What shape is this? This one's a circle. Remember, a circle does not have any points or sides. So once I'm done cutting as many shapes as I possibly can out of this piece of paper, I am going to take a black piece of paper and I am going to glue my shapes on here and make a unique object or a unique scene. So let's see, I have a square, a circle, and a triangle. So before I start gluing all of my shapes down, it would probably be best if I decide what kind of picture I wanna make first. Hmm. So again, you can make shapes into anything. What do I want to make? I know. I'm gonna make an elephant using all of my shapes. But before I start gluing anything down, I might wanna lay out the pieces and see how I like them first. So maybe I'll put the circle down first and then put a triangle next to it to be its head and its trunk. Maybe add a few more squares. And at the end, you will have a beautiful picture. So I'm gonna tell you all about what I made, all the shapes I used to make my elephant. I used a big oval to make the body. I used two rectangles for his feet, a long skinny rectangle for his tail, two rectangles for his big ear, and I used another kind of shape called a pentagon to make his head. A pentagon has five sides and five points. I also used so many triangles to make his nose or his trout. And I used some rectangles right here just for fun so he's shooting out waters out of his trunk. There's also a couple half circles down here where I only took half of a circle. I can't wait to see all the creations that you make. Let me know how you like it. 